Let's write some CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and its styles are HTML skeleton code. First, we'll create a main.css file, and I'm just going to do this in Sublime. We'll save it as main.css, and I'm just going to put it right here on the desktop. Now, in our last video, we had this index.html, and we had this text blue in a h3 header. Now, what if we could actually make this text blue, like the color blue? Well, we can with CSS. In our CSS here, we can write h3, which is going to select all of our h3 tags in our index.html, and we can make them the color blue by just going color blue. Now, this won't do anything yet because we haven't linked it to our index.html page. We'll save this, and we can open our index.html in Sublime, dragging it down here to Sublime. There we go, and we can add this link inside of the head tag. And what we'll do is we'll go link rel equals style sheet in quotes, href equals main.css. And so what is this saying? It's saying we're gonna create a link, it's gonna be a style sheet, and where's this link, where is this file? It's in our main.css. Now, we could just write main.css because it was on the same level as our index.html. But say it was in this folder here, well, if we dragged this in here, then our href would be folder slash main CSS. But we'll delete that for now because it is on the same level. Now, if we save both of these and then open our index.html in a browser, refresh this, now it's blue. If your text isn't blue, make sure that you've saved both of your files and they are both on the same level in your folder. Now, I don't really like this color. I want more of a navy shade of blue. How do we do that? Well, we can Google RGB dark blue, and RGB just stands for red, green, blue. Google that, click the first link, scroll down, and I really like this navy, and so I have two options. I can either use the hex code or the decimal code. And so if I decide I wanna use the hex code, then I can copy this and just paste it in where we say blue. Save it up and this will work. Another way we can do it is with RGB, and so I can just copy this put it inside here, and it means the same thing. And so now, if I refresh this, now we have this darker shade of blue. It's not black, it's not that bright blue, but it's exactly the shade we want. Now, what if we want the text in the H3 tag and the text in the paragraph tag to be italic? Well, we can group them together in something called a div. So going back to our HTML code, we can write div, and put these inside of this tag. And so we'll close the div here. Now these two elements are grouped together. Think of this div as a container that can hold many HTML elements. Now we can select the div in our CSS and make the text within the div italic. To do this, we need to add a name to this div. And so we can say div class equals italic. I'll talk more about what class means in a minute, but we'll select this div in our CSS using its class name. And so to select this class, we'll go dot italic, and that's just the name of the class. And then we'll have these open and closed brackets, and inside of here, we'll say something that makes the text italic. And so to do that, we just say font style italic. And that will do that for us. We'll save this up, and then we'll open our index.html, refresh the page, and now blue and red, that text is italic. Notice, we have the dot in front of a class name, but we do not have the dot when we're selecting the HTML element. Now there is a third type of thing that we can select in CSS, and that's an ID. Just now, we selected a class. Multiple divs can have this class as their name, and all of their text will be italicized. However, when using IDs, only one div can have this ID name. Going back to our code, we can add another div inside of here, and we'll put it in between these BRs. And so we'll have div class equals italic, again, having that class italic. And inside of this div, we're just gonna do a quick unordered list, and basically this will create a list of bullet points. And so we'll have UL, and this is just gonna say, we're gonna have a unordered list, a bullet point list, and we'll have two list items, which are just items in the list, and we'll say purple, and we'll say yellow. And these are just some more HTML elements. We'll save this, open up our 
index again, and now we have purple and yellow in a bullet list, and everything in this list is italic because the entire list is in this class italic. Now we use our italic class twice, however we can only use an ID once. In our HTML code, we'll create a new div and give it the ID bold, and so we'll say div ID bold. And then we'll close that div, and inside of this div we'll put hello. Save it up. Going to our CSS, we can go hashtag bold, which will select our bold ID, and inside of here to make the text bold, we'll go font weight bold. Save that up, and then when we refresh this page, we should see hello, and it's bolded. These aren't all the properties you can mess with, but they are some of the main ones. For more, see some of the documentation down below. Now, it would take so much time to get everything exactly how we wanted if we were writing all this CSS ourselves. Is there an easier way? Yes, with the Bootstrap framework, and that's what we'll go over next Friday. See you then.